Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another review on Sean Kleiber, the showdown right back released today for the IX versus PSV game. We're going to go into the card, some of his details, his stats, his traits, as well as the SPC requirements, uh, his clips and their usual summary at the end. But before we get into all of that, I guess you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know upload and comment down below what your thoughts are on this showdown and who you think is going to win. I personally think it will be IX that they've been smashing in the league so far, but we're going to decide which card we want to do based on what upgrades they might be getting. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Uh, this is the team I used them in. It's very, it's the same one to the Daniel Mann review. I wanted to keep it uh, constant for them. Uh, I played them together in the games that they were doing. So it made it almost a fairer review uh, between the two in terms of seeing the deliverables on the pitch for both players. Um, guys, I really loved using this card. This card is an absolute steal and he is an absolute animal as well. Let's just get straight into it. Six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, three star skill moves, two star weak foot. Um, three games played at this point, guys, but I will be going up to five games. So rest assured, you will see the five game stat line in the summary. Two assists for me so far in those three games. Um, no doubt I'll get more because passing is really good, guys. This card is really, really good. For that, in terms of details he plays for Ajax, as I mentioned, I put the powerhouse chemistry style on him. Um, I wanted to boost that defending and passing. He's really good physically. He's very quick. Um, his dribbling is more than usable, which just leaves you wanting to boost that element of his game, which really could just be a bit better to bring him up to that elite level, to link him up with some really nice players. As you can see, I had Ian Robin in there. You could put Gravenberg, Kuhlman, Burkamp, all these sorts of players next to him. So boosting that as well will make him that style of player. In terms of attributes, guys, the standard ones, uh, look at all his physical stats. Apart from the jumping, they are insane. 99 stamina, 90 aggression, 88 strength. So, so important. For a fullback as well, 84 agility, 84 balance, 85 reactions. Very good. 86 composure as well, so not bad in front of goal. Um, his finishing isn't great, so sometimes you may get a wayward finish, but when he does get easy chances, he does tend to stick them away. Uh, good acceleration as well. Really, really great acceleration. The only con I found of this card, guys, other than, of course, his work rates, which is really dependent on what style of player you want. Some people like... Uh, fullback who stays back a little more um is his heading accuracy uh, which is actually a little annoying if you're kicking it out from the keeper to the fullback he sometimes misplaces headers um or in general he just puts them very wayward off corners because he can win them quite easily given his height size and strength so it's a bit annoying not to have a better heading accuracy there Finally, getting into the player traits, the early crosser trait, um, I did use this a little bit, but it hasn't been effective for me so far. His passing in general has just been incredible. Long shot taker as well. I forgot to mention, guys, you do have a long shot capability of 80, 88 shot power as well. So he's quite a strong player. Um, you can take long shots with him, but I didn't really test this out. I was so busy linking up the play with him. Uh, this card is really fantastic for doing that. Now that we've looked through the card, let's get into some of the SBC requirements. So guys, just getting into some of Sean Kleiber's SBC requirements. As you guys can see here, the SBC cost is 77k on the PS4, 81k on the Xbox. When I was doing this, uh put together and all that stuff. It was 75K and 75K. So again, you can see a little bit of a peak and trough in terms of people wanting to do this card, how good this card is. People wondering how good it is. It will start to peak as people realize how good this Cliver is. It is gonna go up. So guys, get this in quickly. If you want to lock this card in, you will save yourself maybe 10, 10, 15K maybe as well. Um, it's always nice to save a little bit of coin where you can. Um, Overall though guys, not expensive for a card of this quality. I really do think this card is worth it. I would 100% recommend doing it. Get this SBC done. We'll get more into that in the summary. Um, but yeah, really, really worth it guys. Really, really cheap as well. Without further ado, let's get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, getting into some of Sean Clyber's clips, and the first one here is just to show you his positioning. So I took control of him at the end there, but you can see there his defensive awareness coming into play there as well. Here again, we're chasing back a good level of speed, and look at the power in that challenge. And that's going to be a recurring theme that you guys are going to see throughout these clips. It's just the power with which he tackles. Now, you can see there, I, you th it may look like I made a mistake. I'm actually totally comfortable leaving the winger open there. Because look at the power which with he goes in with and how quickly he's there as well. I'm totally comfortable leaving the winger with a little bit of space because as soon as Sean Kleber gets onto him, I'm going to get that ball because he's so strong, so quick, so powerful. Again, here, look, we look like we're out of position. Look at the recovery run there against Wilfred Zaha. Lovely speed there. And what a ball this is. Just a ping it down the line to Iron Robin. A lot of these clips, guys, you're going to see a recurring theme where he just manages to save. And it's so calm when you're playing with him because he's got good agility as well. Good passing. I kind of mess it up here and you think, damn it, that could be a goal. Look at the power here. Good strength. Zaha manages to hold him off temporarily. But he just steals the ball back off him and a lovely ping into the midfield for Bergkamp. 
again here lovely interception driving out with the ball as well lose it at the end there but we will recover it again here again look now you're controlling the play here you're jockeying 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 shut down that play you can afford to leave that open because he is that quick and as soon as you spot where that pass is going into that area immediately and his interceptions tackling everything about this card is phenomenal again put a hefty challenge in there he's got to get back he makes that recovery run and it's a solid tackle again making sure the ball goes out of play really clean tackle again guys and this was just over and over again again i leave the winger a bit of space because i know as soon as i get out to him with this card he's winning the ball and you get some great linkability that means in terms of having a powerful defense to virgil van dyke etc etc and that was the ball there as well guys you may have seen that in the Mal malin review as well that ball was by Kleiber. so imagine he's got passing like that as well these are just some of the marauding runs I would I could go on him because of his speed. I think people are underestimating how quick he actually is. So you can get into dangerous areas. Again, my lack of end product is causing him not to get an assist there. Again, here, look at this run. Because of his high medium work rates, he tends to get forward so so quickly and try to create chances as well. And it's it's a terrifying sight when you've got a six footer who's quick, fast powerful running down the wing at you and again here look there's a chance he's created um again pulls the ball perfectly into Dennis Burkamp that passing is phenomenal should have been a goal from me again here playing a lovely little deft pass into there and this is what he does a lot guys he doesn't overrun it in midfield he holds his position plays the ball into Malin and it ends up with a lovely goal in the net so guys getting into the final Sean Kleiber review the of course Dutch right back from Ajax in the Eredivisie 75k on the PlayStation 75k on the Xbox this will vary of course guys I think only upwards though and um, five games played three clean sheets and two assists so all the games that actually that you guys didn't see I managed to keep clean sheets with him his key stats stamina aggression um, strength acceleration the physical components of this card are fantastic which means that with reasonable defending reasonable passing reasonable dribbling what you can do is when you chuck the chemistry style on him you can give yourself a really 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 great card um, in this Sean Kleiber card I put the powerhouse on him as I mentioned before defending and passing were the key things for me to boost um, with him becoming a great passer you can ping those long balls down the line uh, over the top uh, inside one twos everything with that and his dribbling as well just becomes phenomenally useful there as well if you need to get out of tight spaces in defense um, and his defending needed a little boost i think i don't think 84 is high enough and um, i do like my defenders to be able to tackle cleanly win the ball well and and strong tackles as well so boosting that is always a welcome bonus for me too in terms of his linkability guys we're going to use the same links as we did with malin so robin and gravenberg but you've got a whole load of links you could put in there especially to other leagues as well you've now got options with say virgil van dyke or other players as such like that. You've got Kuman, Burkamp, again, all these icons, you could link to them as well. Similar player, I put Semedo, guys. Um, yeah, he, he is as good as Semedo, if not better, I think. I think he's better, and when he gets this boost, my God, is he gonna be good? And um, Because I do think Ajax are gonna win this game, and for that reason, guys, I would 100% recommend that this is the card you do over Daniel Malin. Do not do Malin if you've only got one card to choose from. This will be the card that gets the boost, I think, and will be an absolute monster after you do get him. <clears throat> Overall, guys, I think absolutely fantastic card. Well worth getting. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. And if you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I will see you all 